Hope looks like um, a person going away and, and smiling, um, um, being, bring a, having a ray of light back into their lives, really. When we first meet people, um, they're pretty oppressed, uh, pretty downtrodden. Um, and I think that's a very important ingredient of what we do, is, is helping people to bring hope back into their lives and, uh, you know, an expectation that the future is, there is a future for them. People get to the point where they believe that the situation that they're in is their own fault. That's probably because of um, what they've been told, of, of what their friends have said, uh, of what they've read in the papers, heard in the media. Um, I mean, there is a lot of bad press about people uh, on benefits. Um, and certainly our experience is that very, very few people are in debt because of uh, their own fault. It's usually the circumstances that um, they find themselves in that give rise to their debt. But inevitably, they have this sense of, um, of, of, of shame. Uh, and, and I think what we have to do is to um, counteract that. We have, we have to confront that and we have to say, no, it's not your fault, um, as, as quite often is the case. Um, uh, it's because um, uh, the whole variety of reasons which are external to those people uh, that they are really um, the victims. I've learnt to listen because it's a very important part, especially when we first meet somebody. We are probably the first time that somebody has been listened to and there's this tremendous unburdening of um, their story that they need to get through before we can get down to the, you know, the, the nitty gritty of their financial situation and their debts. The passage I always think about is Isaiah 58, um, which resonates very strongly with me um, about um, loosening the chains of injustice, untying the cords of the yoke, and setting the oppressed free. Uh, and I think that sums up what we're doing actually we're you know we're taking that burden we're helping to take that burden and untie the yoke of people who are incredibly oppressed sometimes